So this is our code. Um, Identify yourselves, Adam and Adam and Jonathan. Okay. This code that's highlighted right now um, makes Pico, which is the character, uh -huh. walk, and it'll change his costume to make it look like a walking motion. Okay. What are you doing to make him change directions that way? Show me in the under code. Um. When it, you see that we have two different codes saying if Q right press then change, uh -huh. but we have a lot of costumes like there's all of these costumes. So when we want to change, we made the costume flip to look the other way. Uh huh. Um, How does the program know which costume to choose at which it point? It says in it's here we have the code and it says after moving. X by 20, then it'll wait 0 0.2 seconds, mm -hmm. and then it'll switch the costume to the next costume. Okay. Um, uh, your turn. Go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, down here, it needs to touch the red to keep it leveled uh -huh. on the screen. Right. Because of the velocity, because it only stays at the position when it's red. And also here, this has a red box, uh -huh. so he knows that he can stand on it and uh -huh. not just fall down like here. Okay, wait, um, how do you, show me the code that allows Pico to jump in the first place. Um, uh, jumping is right here. There. Ah, okay. Um, when keep space press, change velocity y by 12 and we made two um, variables, uh -huh. velocity x and velocity y. Velocity right. x <coughs> um, causes him when in the like, air to like move to the left and right. Uh -huh. Velocity y causes him to stand when he's touching on the red, and it also causes him to jump okay. and fall. Okay, now what else uh, can you do with this game? It looks like there's like a boulder or there's a challenge that he, or yeah. an obstacle yes. he has to overcome. Um, right? if you when touch when the you touch the stone, uh -huh. It's called in the program. It'll kill you, set Pico death to one, and bring you back to the starting position. Okay, so you have a counter that increments uh, his fatality if he touches the rock. Yes. Yeah, and okay. if you touch it more than five times, then... The game's over. Oh, but we didn't program that yet. Well, we make him go back to the... Oh, we make him go back to his like starting point. Like, if I were on another level, it'd bring us back to here. Okay, now show me the code that occurs when he, when he touches the rock. Uh, what happens when he touches the rock? It's that one. It says change death by one and go to x negative two over six y negative one forty four. Okay. And there's multiple stones, but in the first level, we only have the one. second stone has no costume, so okay, it's not there. And okay. when you go to the portal, you win, and, and then you press, press s, s to go to the next to the, to the next level. Okay. And we have the red. And, and then as you can see, the there's another portal. stone. Oh. How do you spawn a second stone? Uh, in um, the first level, yeah. he has... Show me the code. Show me the code for spawning a second stone. Well, it says when backdrop switches to star, switch costume to stone, and then it'll create it to cause it to move. And, and, and how, how, do you, how do you initialize that without uh, when green flag is clicked? Because I notice you don't have that. Because we do when we go to stone, because when S is pressed, it'll go to stars. So when, uh -huh. when the background changes to stars, it'll be there. Okay. All right, go ahead and play one game. Show, play from the beginning. Uh, show me um, how to go from one level to the other. And your idea is to actually do three levels of this, right? We yeah. already have three. Oh, you have three. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to make up to five. Okay. This one is a little more challenging because the the difference in height of those red blocks is bigger, right? Yeah, yeah there's, there's another stone. Another stone. Oh, there, there's Walk a second more. stone. So have a short amount of time. So in the second level, you press T to continue. Okay. And this, and this one looks like you're doing it like on the moon or something, right? So yeah, it's a background switch. Okay. And there's a third stone. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. 
Uh, very good, guys. Very good. Uh, only one suggestion, okay? When next time you're screencasting, only one person says something at a time, okay? Just, just a constructive. Okay, whenever you're doing a screencast, you want to make sure that you're uh, articulate and that, that only one person at a time is talking because then it creates like audio, audio yeah. confusion, right? All right, any suggestions, guys? Any, any questions on, on the code? Bring up the code again. <coughs> any questions about the code? Any suggestions? Suggestions, folks. Well, I just have one question. Yes, Tyler. How, how I want to touch is like the red blocks, like right here, like kind of floats up. Um, it says <laughs> at the bottom of the red block. Yeah, the bottom of the red block. It's one at a time, guys. One at a time. It's red. So when he touches red, he stays at that position. So we set the velocity y. It's kind of like it gravity. And so it stops touching it. Yeah. So when you do it, it kind of changes gravity to go up. So see how it's he's kind of bouncing is because there's one there's two codes that are making one's like the gravity trying to pull him down, and then it's the red pushing him back up. So it's like okay cool Thank any you any other questions or okay what what uh, what do you what do you want to do in addition to the five levels what changes do you foresee or what additions do you foresee for this game um, we're gonna add a turret which okay. is, is like a gun that aims at the pico uh -huh. and it'll shoot like every couple seconds and it'll shoot a meteor and if it hits him then it'll be like touching any of the other students and he'll die right and but one it'll that follow him like oh, oh, a okay. turret that'll aim at him, right. shoot, and then it'll just keep following him, and every couple of seconds it'll shoot him. So okay, like good. And we want to set the maximum of deaths to like ten. Right. So, so that if you get ten deaths, you go back to level one. Stoyanovic. Yeah. So you mentioned that you had gravity involved. Where's the program for? Or where's right the code for that? We set it to zero point eight. The velocity. I think like the velocity of gravity. Yeah, velocity. Why? Like up and down. See, that's a that's one of the good uses of variables. If you have an initial variable, you have a, a an initial value for variable, and then you in your code you set that same variable name equal to the variable times some factor. What you're doing is you're saying to yourself, replace the old value of that variable with the new value times times something. Okay, that's something that in math, <coughs> you, you, that, that's not an inequality in math. You can't say x equals x plus 2 in math. How can x equals, how can a number equal 2 more than itself, right? You would get uh, no solution to that equation. But in, in computer science, you could say that statement, uh, and what you're basically saying is replace the old value of x with the new value plus 2. Okay. okay. Alrighty, any questions, any comments? Okay, very good job, guys. Very good job. Okay. Uh, Alt P. When, oh, by the way, guys, look, when you finish your screencast, Alt 